Hello Electroheads, Jack here and I come to you from a shed somewhere in Bedford. And I'm here today because last week I received one of my favourite kinds of email. It was an email from an inventor and he said, Hi, I'm an inventor, I've come up with a brilliant new kind of electric vehicle and I'd love you to test it out. I said, what's it called? And he told me the name and I said, say no more, I'll be there next week. And so, without any further ado whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Dricycle. The Dricycle is a groundbreaking and unusual take on the electric bicycle, and it's the brainchild of this chap, Andy Murphy. His mission with the project is, well, perhaps I should let him tell you. Basically, we're just looking for something that's a single-seater vehicle, it's narrow width, so you can actually get through traffic rather than sitting in traffic. It's always slightly surprised me that a lot of city electric vehicles, or vehicles in general, uh, are still the same width, basically, as a car. It's a fun vehicle as well. You don't have to just use it for commuting. You can get out and about to the shops or just, you know, going around your local area and having fun. It is obviously a local vehicle. Uh, the range on it's about 50 miles. Um, so I wouldn't suggest that you try taking it up and down the motorway or doing a thing like that, or even going onto B roads and things like that, perhaps. The number one reason why people don't cycle more is because of safety. So they don't feel safe on the road. Whether they are safe or not is up for debate. Um, but they don't feel safe whilst they're on the road, so we thought it would be important to have a vehicle that they can certainly feel safe in and know how it's going to react in those extreme uh, crash tests. So I'm here in Bedford. Jack has invited me down to check out what he calls the future of electric transport. Um, I have no idea what he's showing me today. I'm uh, apprehensive. I'm really excited because obviously that's what Electroheads is all about, future of electric transportation. Oh my god. Morning. Morning. What on earth is this? The future, my friend. The future. This is the dricycle. So legally, this is an e-bike. This is a 250 watt motor, pedal assist, e-bike. Just like the ones, you know, that we find in fully charged down the road from the office. Wow, okay. 250 watt motor. Do, do we know if, you know, speed wise it's able to to kick up enough speed to, to get, get this thing moving. It looks quite heavy. I'm not entirely sure what the top speed is, but it is surprisingly light. The whole frame is made from aluminium, so it weighs, I think he said, mid hundreds, something like 150 kilos, which is like, you know, one and a half of me. Jack, one question I have to ask is, is there climate control? Oh yes, my friend, you see this? You see this? This is the heater. No. It comes that? as standard. It is aimed more towards the windscreen for demisting purposes, but it'll keep you warm as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. And then in terms of optional extras, heated handlebars. What? Heated seats. No. You can have windscreen wipers. <laughs> and then as standard, we've got headlights, we've got brake lights, we've got indicators, full suspension, proper disc brakes front and back. I mean, it's a serious piece of kit. Have you seen as well its face? It has a face. It's kind of cute, isn't it's it? It's adorable. Cute little, little face. I should mention, this is a pre-production model. We're kind of getting a sneak peek at these. So the final thing will have a little bit more polish about it. But I mean, it's a pretty serious thing, isn't it? It's amazing. I, uh, please tell me we can drive one of these. Oh, we're taking these out for a spin today, my friend. Beautiful. She's in. <laughs> OK. How does it feel? Ooh. Oh, it's very comfortable, actually. It's very plush. And it's just like kind of bike steering, you know, you twist them forward and forward, back and back. Ooh, Quite intuitive, I, I think. Oh, I see. Look at that. A few other things to notice. This is obviously our heating system. Handlebars, more for getting in and out, but also you can mount your phone holder on there or cup holder or whatever else holder you fancy. Sure. Get this. Couple USB charge ports. Oh, damn. So I can plug in like my iPhone to charge it up. I can Got maybe nine like. nine volt. Got my nine volt, put, put Standard. speaker in. Absolutely, whatever you Damn. like. Speaker, that's a really good idea, actually. Yeah. Whatever you do, when the lid is open, don't press that little silver button just there. I mean, you can press it if you like. Okay, why have you just told me to not press a button? Yeah, because I'm it. going to press yeah, a button. Go press it, give it a try. <laughs> what was that? That is the windscreen wash. Oh, okay, fair so, enough. So uh, we're not going to press that one. I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> Let's go for a spin. This is so good! 
This is mental. Yes. Lock it up a few gears. Lovely Shimano gears working beautifully. This is very pleasant. see this but Mojo our cameraman is next to me riding a LaCroix electric skateboard while holding about five grand's worth of camera rig. It's quite a sight. Hello sir, can I please have a small latte, regular? Small latte. I've tried this on a bicycle and they were not that nice. They were not that nice. They just wish us a wonderful day. That's the beautiful thing. Wow, that was, I mean, the only thing I can liken that to, right, is it's like a pedalo. You know what I mean? Oh my God, it's exactly like a pedalo. It's like a pedalo on land. Yeah, and do you know what? I love me a pedalo. <laughs> but also, with a pedalo, usually you go on and it's like plasticky, horrible seats and you get a wet bum. But with this, I mean, the seat is heated, first of all. I can't believe the seat is heated. I accidentally turned on my heated handlebars at one point during that, which... Toasting. <laughs> Toasting. That's incredible. I didn't even know that was a thing. I Everything's heated. It's amazing. Initial impressions. First of all, I can't believe it's a bicycle. Like, I really can't believe I'm sat in a bike. I do feel safer. It takes a bit of getting used to the width and the size and the sitting position, but I'm comfortable. I've got heating. I'm in a vehicle that's crash tested. It's so unlike being a bike while still being a bike. One thing to keep in mind if you're considering a tricycle, it's not for introverts. I have never had more stares in one day than I did when out tricycling. I felt like a celebrity. Mostly good stares, I think. I'm absolutely flying. This is, this is delightful. Uh, no, no, no. Oh dear. Where have you led me? First one through the goal. Loser tricycles back to London. Give us a three, two, one, Moja. Three, two, one, go. Come on! Go, 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 oh, go, go! Oh, oh, she's come got, on. oh, she's got, oh, God! She's quicker off the line. Come on! Get somebody, get! Use the legs! Come, Jamie! Come on! <laughs> I was catching you. Hey, what do you think? All right. You want to find yeah. Even the cats love I'm dry cycles. For a cat. Come on. You're going to be so dry. I was near convinced this could be the future of urban travel until Jack told me the cost. One of these will set you back a whopping £15,000. For something that's technically an e-bike, that is an eye-watering price. A good electric bike will set you back about £3,000. However, add on the plush tricycle extras of climate control, heated seats, 
the crash tested and approved chassis and much more and you can start to see why the price rockets up. Despite the name and e-bike classification, we mustn't forget that the dry school has been purpose built to replace car travel in a city. Not only is it much safer than a bike, it essentially acts as a mobile gym, costs way less to run than an ICE car, requires no road tax and is touted to be incredibly low maintenance. But for this to convert the masses, the price does need to drop. Some concluding thoughts on the old tricycle. I tell you what, I'm pretty impressed. I was, I sort of came up here thinking, well, it might be good, it might be awful, but either way, we'll have some fun, we'll get a video. And it's far from perfect. This is a prototype. It's a little bit rickety. It feels a bit like a prototype. It's also very expensive, but you might be onto something with this concept. You know, the idea that you can have a vehicle like this, a vehicle that feels this safe, that feels this suitable on the road, all without taking a driving test, without number plates, without tax, it's very enticing. I mean, who wouldn't want a tricycle? Look at me. I'm in a bike. Hi. <laughs>